Okay, so in this video we take care about um, those other pieces here. So let's take a look at the website. Um, and those things are, yeah, they're more looking like a little rubber boat or something. So yeah, let's um, take um, the geometry that we already made here and let's um, duplicate that. Hit Control D. And um, now let me switch to the outliner here. Um, let's select the first uh, three that we created in the last video and put it on a layer. And um, by selecting those and then creating a new layer here, um, so we can disable the display here and so we only see the one that we need. So let's go in and say, um, yeah, we want to go from the top view and hit F to frame in on that. So select a few vertices and move those up. I'm just eyeballing it right now. Yeah, something like this. And now let's take this row here, bring it in front, and hit Control, Shift, Select. Might want to scale those in. And let's do the same with the those here. Bring those in. Hit uh, 3 to check out how it looks. Um, let me go to the uh, perspective view here. Yeah, it's looking like a little rubber boat here. So let's bring up a few vertices here. Yeah, those five. And let's move those up. We also could do is um, taking those here and move those down to flatten it out a bit more. And again, select uh, the five vertices that we selected earlier, like this. Scale those in and hit uh, 3 to check that out. Okay, uh, let's compare it to the picture on the website. So yeah, here's a, some kind of like a, a sharp edge here, so let's try to fix that. Mm, let me insert an edge loop somewhere about here. Hit uh, 3 It's given me a little edge here. Mm. All right, so let's come in and uh, try to <coughs> give this a little more flat shape here. Let me think for a second. Yeah. I think we're taking those vertices here again. Move those up. Hit uh, 3 to check that out. Um, let me turn a wireframe on shaded. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like this sharp edge here, so let's try to take this one here, this vertice, and this vertice, and move it back, and then scale that back out. Now let's hit a three. Yeah, it's getting better. Zoom out to, I mean, yeah. I think that's that's okay. So now let's um, try to go to the uh, top view, and let's uh, rotate that guy so that the overall scale 
is right. So let's uh, scale this in y 30 degrees. And let's check that out. I think yeah, we could also go in and take those here and uh, the other vertices on the corresponding side and bring that in just a little bit. And we also could bring out the nose of that little rubber boat and bring it up right there and let's hit a three. Okay, could be um, scaled or poking out a little bit more. Hit three. Yeah. Sometimes those little things. I mean, it's it's easy, but it's time consuming. Okay, I think I'm I'm gonna go with this one. All right, so now let's um, take this and let's um, copy that over or let's create some instances of this one and uh, yeah, to finish uh, this part up. So let's uh, check out how many copies we need. So this is the one we have. So it's two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies. Um, let's open up our magic duplicate special duplicate special tool here um, and let's um, set this to instance um, and let's group it under a new group and now we need to uh, first of all we need one copy uh, 30 degrees so let's um, type in negative 30 in y and hit apply oh Okay, let's um, let me undo that, and let's type in 30 uh, and hit apply. And we could go in and take this original one, and this should be 90 degrees. So type in 90 and say apply. And then we need 120 degrees. Hit apply. Okay, so undo that we need to uh, select the original one and uh, do that and let's try to select the original one and type in something like 180 and again select the original one 210 degrees select the original one um, 270 And finally, 300 degrees. Select the original one, type in 300, oh. and there you go. All right, so now we have um, all those little boxes and pieces in place. Let me select um, the, uh, the those three here. Hit a three to go to smooth version. All right. So yeah, I think I'm gonna pause this video and we are going on um, in the next video doing some more work. We might want to create um, this uh, Rolex logo in the next video. Okay, see you.